start off with Tom Dowd with BrooklynNets.com. Hey, Kyrie, just curious what you thought about the, the overall effort tonight. Seven guys in double figure scoring, but also some good gang rebounding, three guys with at least six assists. Yeah, we needed everything tonight from everyone. Uh, you know, we obviously start off the game uh, with 7-17 left on the clock. It was 21-8. So, you know, we had to battle our way back. Uh, but I feel like we, we found something good in the second half in terms of guarding Zion um, and also B.I. Obviously, they had some high scoring numbers, but, uh, you know, we wanted those other guys to beat us. So, you know, I'm glad that it ended in our favor. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Kai. Um, this is twofold. I'm just curious, comparing this to the end game, obviously Sunday, was there anything different about the way that you guys executed this game schematically down the last, whatever, minute than Sunday's game? And secondly, obviously the verdict was a concern nationwide. You guys, I take it some of you got a chance to watch this pregame. What was your, what was your response in there? What was the reaction in there to the verdict? Uh, I mean, well, we, we'll discuss that more as a team, um, you know, keep that internal, but we just have a long way to go as a country. Uh, you know, obviously we have some progress being made in terms of conversations being had and justice being served. Um, but we just still have a long way to go. So it's, it's a great time to reflect and see how far we've come in the last year, you know, with the verdict and in the case and, uh, unfortunately losing a life, a few lives, um, in the last year through, due to police brutality and just violence out in the streets. So, you know, we just want to continue to galvanize each other and be there for one another as human beings and continue to support, um, you know, justice being served. That's, that's most important. And then on the uh, first part of your question, uh, we just made shots. You know, I, I think in the last three minutes in the Miami game, um, you know, we just should have had maybe two, three plays just to be able to run. And I think tonight, um, you know, we're just playing off each other really well and just, and just making some easy plays. Um, and just worked out in our favor. So. Blake A. Andrews, ESPN. Um, thank you for your thoughts on the Chauvin trial, Kyrie. I, I was wondering before the game, Steve Nash said that um, it was even maybe more important now that all of the guys who've been getting, you know, the, the, the stay ready reps, these other reps all over the place are, are ready to go now because you had hoped that this is when everyone was going to be healthy and that wasn't the case. I'm wondering what you think of that, that preparation now and how it's needed um, with you guys being shorthanded. Yeah. Uh, the attention to detail, uh, the focus is is definitely um, going to need to be at, at a different level now that we don't have some guys in the lineup. Um, with some of the NBA teams, uh, you know, you just see just figuring it out, this process. Uh, so we're not the only ones in, you know, kind of that uh, position, but all we can do is focus on what we can control out there. And those guys have been doing a great job of staying ready. You know, that, that group that, that we've labeled that uh, stay ready group, um, you know, they're just going out there and doing it. And, and now uh, we're asking uh, them to do a little bit more offensively and defensively, uh, be a, a lot more communicative. And, um, you know, we're going against teams in the second half of the season or winding down. So the level of play is definitely raised. Uh, teams are definitely trying to get in position uh, throughout the standings. So you just got to be aware of that Eastern and Western Conference. And um, you just got to be able to just go out there and play. So. Looking forward to continue to coach and, and lead the young guys, you know, with all of us here. So. Stephen Bondi, New York Daily News. Uh, hey, Kyrie. Um, the word before the game was that um, James Harden was out indefinitely and um, with, with the hamstring issue. And, and Steve Nash said he didn't know if he'll be back for the rest of the regular season. Knowing James like you do, um, how much will that long a layoff affect him, if at all, once you guys get into, you know, the pressure cooker of the playoffs? Well, I think James can answer that better than I can in terms of just how he feels. Um, but I think as a team and, and as one of his teammates, we just want him to be as healthy as possible. Um, the level of play that uh, is needed in the, in the playoffs or on that main stage is totally different than the regular season. And when you're just going out there um, and, and uh, <laughs> you know, just trying to figure it out, it's never easy for anyone, no matter how long they've played in the league. And, you know, it's not hard. It's not easy to just take games off and, and then, come back in um, for anyone. 
So we just want him to take his time. But obviously the regular season is winding down um, and we just want reps. I think we just all want reps together. Uh, but if we're not able to get that, then we'll have to figure it out. And, and that's just been the uh, sentiment throughout the season. It's just a figuring out process of just kind of meshing this together and uh, game by game, day by day, just uh, being there for one another, you know, just just stay in, uh, in communication. So I just wanted to be as healthy as possible as anyone in the league. You know, I don't want any, to see anyone be on the sidelines if they, longer than they need to. Uh, but it's not easy to just take off time and, and just come into any professional event. So, Thanks for your time, Kyrie. Yeah. You guys be safe. Get home safe.